Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is your match with you and Manchester United versus FC Barcelona in the Europa League last 32 seconds leg. Wow, what a win that was in the end. I mean, first half, Manchester United started the game off quite slowly. Barcelona went 1 0 up. Bruno Fernandes gained the penalty away. Some were saying it's soft, but I'm not really going to comment on that one because Barcelona thoroughly deserved the lead at halftime. They really did. They were in a much better side in the first half. De Gea almost saved Lewandowski's penalty, but couldn't quite reach it, unfortunately. But So Barcelona ahead, and then the second half kicks off Fred, who was absolutely fantastic in the second half, scored the equaliser, which unfortunately I missed because my surface I was watching it on went down, for fuck's sakes. And then 2-1, Anthony win the goal, where Manchester United win against Barcelona for the first time since... 2008, absolutely buzzing. I really am, because Manchester United are still fighting in four competitions this season. We got Newcastle next in the cup final. I cannot wait for that game on Sunday. But yeah, Fred was absolutely fantastic tonight. He really was. So job done. We're through to the last 16 now. Be interested to see who we draw next. i got to say, over the two legs, we just about deserve to go three kids. I thought both the legs, we were the better side. So, yeah, I'm fairly happy about that. Manchester United's going three. And Juan Bissaka tonight, he started the game, which I thought he would. Then Diego Delo come off the bench and Aaron Juan Bissaka was substituted. McTominay come on for Marcus Rashford in the second half. And also Ganacho come on for Jaden Sancho. Ganacho, he's dyed his hair blonde. It looks quite weird. But yeah, I'm wearing the away Manchester United shirt tonight with the Europa League patch. Yep, so on we go. We're still in the Europa League. Fantastic. Absolutely amazing of course like first half it was not great you know manchester united away from the place yellow cards casemiro got a yellow card in the second half but he took one from the team like sergio busquets he took one from the team when ganache was through for barcelona so yeah good management but rafael ran near the end of the game what a clearance off the line, because Barcelona could have equalised. But second half, I don't think Barcelona put up much of a threat. It looks comfortable for Manchester United in the second half. Atmosphere, I've not known Old Trafford this loud for 10 years. The atmosphere in the moment at Old Trafford is just absolutely electric. A long may it continue as well. The fans seem happy. The crowd seem very, very happy. But yeah, it looked like in the first half, Rashford was in the number nine position and Weghurst in the number 10 position, which didn't quite work, I don't think, because Sancho was very anonymous in the first half as well. But Ferran and Martinez, impressive defending again. Now, I missed some of the games, so unfortunately, I won't be doing player ratings because obviously I missed certain bits of the game because, like I said, my surface went down. So, but Eric Ten Hag and the team selection, I'll give an 8 out of 10. I thought he set up very well. And also, Shaggy for his team selection, I'll give an 8 out of 10. Like I said, my man of match was Fred. Like I said, he was superb in the second half. I mean, first half, he hardly got involved, but the second half, well deserved to get him man of match. Robbie Savage on BT Swords gave him man of match. Comment your thoughts down below. I will always reply. And join me on Saturday 
to the preview of Manchester United versus Newcastle United in the Carabao Cup final. Absolutely buzzing. Our first win since Barcelona since 2008 when Paul Scholes scored that absolute cracker in the UEFA Champions League. It seems so weird seeing these two giants playing UEFA Europa League though. It really does. But on we go. Bye-bye.